Hey guys, it's Freya. Welcome to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to Jimin's solo song and music video drop. I am so excited. Let me actually move my, me moving my TV a little bit for this. Um, but we're gonna watch it together. Or I'm gonna react to it. I haven't seen it. It just turned 11. I missed the premiere of it because um, they usually have like a countdown and a premiere. It's already 11. 07 but i waited for the premiere to pass and um now we're gonna watch it i'm scared i'm scared um this is set me free part two if you guys watch my videos or has seen have seen me before you may know i'm yugi biased and set me free is a song that like means a lot to me and so i am so excited for this um and I'm so excited for Jimin's solo. I don't know what it is about Jimin releasing um, that is making me have like heart palpitations. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and watch this. I am so excited, but so scared. I don't know if Jimin's version of this, Jimin's part two of Set Me Free is gonna have like a darker concept uh, from the teasers. It kind of seems like it. Um, I don't know. I'm scared, okay. Let's just watch it. Are we ready? I'm not ready. Okay. Hold on, I have it queued up. Uh, I should have known he was gonna have like a whole dance team. That's very him. Oh my god, it's Michael Jackson. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Do you just say like, fuck all your ops? The formation of this is crazy. Like the imagery. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. I literally, I knew his release was gonna have like, he's the cuntiest of them all. He is, oh, what is happening? I thought those were written on him, but it's definitely, wait, is it? Shut up, fuck off. Oh, he's so mad. What is happening? Those are written on him. Or is it sheer shirt with like words? Either way, I'm scared. Oh, it's literally written on him. Like, I don't know what it says. Oh my god. I'm like He's naked. He's naked. What did He said fuck your ops. Shut up. Fuck off. What is going on? I'm so Oh, he's so good. I don't know what to tell y'all. Oh, the way that looks. Oh, 
Oh, the imagery of that. That's insane. And then he, oh, his tattoos, his back tattoos. Stop. Okay, hold on. I have to see what the, before I t tell you guys my thoughts, I have to see, I, I want to try to see what that says. What his like chest says. I can't see it. Maybe it's, I need to look at it on like a screen closer to me because on my TV. It looks like, is that German or something? I can't tell. I have to look at it a closer screen. Anyways, that's insane. First of all, he said, fuck your ops. And he said, what did he say? He said, shut up, fuck off. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> but that was so good. I knew, I knew that when Jimin announced that he was going to have, um, his first solo project, that it was going to be the cuntiest of them all. I knew it. But the thing about this is that I really like that this is his title track because Jimin was talking about um, how he wanted to release like a darker side of him. He wanted to release a side of him, like he wanted to show armies a side of him that he's never shown before. And it in the song he literally talks about like setting himself free and like the lyrics is like saying that no matter what people are expecting of him like he's setting himself free and I specifically specifically loved the choreography and the imagery of this dance and oh it's so good it's so good from the beginning when they were all positioned in like a square like everybody is conforming into the shape except for him and the more you get into the song as it progresses the more he's out of the shape and out of line and at some point he is literally like going above them and they're all like clawing at him it's like it's the expectation of people and it's the, you know, everybody just wants something from him. Everybody wants him and wants the version of him that they conceived in their head. But, you know, he's saying, set me free. Like, I want to fly away like a butterfly. What else, what other lyrics did he say? There was so many. He said, like, it's my prime time. He, the, I specifically liked the... I love that. Hey, fool, get out of my way. Okay, shut up. Fuck off. But the chorus, he says that it's his prime time and he's telling you to forget, like, forget everything of the past. He's going to fly away like a butterfly and he's finally free. Like, look at him now. And, like, that he won't even stop no matter what people say. This is, like, him for real. Like, I really like that all the BTS members are doing things and releasing music that they want, that they are proud of, and that they are, that is an embodiment of who they are. Even like from when we saw Hobie, he was the first one, his imagery of like a darker side of him as well. And this, you know, he says that he, there's a version of him that we know and love and that version still exists but there is also you know the him that is the everyday and we saw that with um namjoon as well he talks about how he's just grown up so much it's not even two versions but he's just grown up so much in his time of bts and he kind of is just a different person now and jimin is showing us a side that he's never shown before it's literally so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I knew it was going to be so good, but it's so good. I, I've said that enough. I'm sorry. But it's so good. I think, although I have such an emotional tie with the rap line, I have like 
just just the biggest emotional tie with the rap line that's my bias line you know um and they were the first two of them i guess was the first to release um and i especially always have a personal connection with namjoon's releases um but i knew jimin was going to be one of my favorites and i'm very excited to see because he's taking like a k-pop run um all of the guys are also choosing how they promote it um namjoon was very unconventional in k-pop you know he like did the 200 people performance and he performed inside a museum by himself and he like he just did things the way that he wanted hobie did something giant like Lollapalooza and um the rocking new year's eve and things like that and he promoted um he did some uh like k-pop promotions as well but Jimin's taking a very traditional K-pop route. He is due on music shows. He's doing a fan sign. Um, he's doing like a signing and things like that. So um, his is a little more like K-pop. And I'm actually really excited to see it because um, I really want to see how he is as a soloist on these platforms. Um, and I'm excited to see him on uh, the music shows and things like that. So I'm very excited. This is such a good song. Again, I already have such an emotional tie with the original Set Me Free. Um, and I don't know. Um, Jimin is just my guy. Like I say that about all, every single member of BTS, but God, he can... Like, he is one of the most talented people alive. I swear to God, there is no one that's him. Literally, no one is him. Nobody is Jimin. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I'm so happy for him. Anyways, this song is so good. Everybody stream it. Everybody listen to it. And I can't wait to see and hear the rest of his album. Ah, um, oh, he's so good. He's so good. That was so good. I'm going to go watch it again. So... Please like and subscribe. The next video that's going to come out is going to be one of my um, everything you need to know for Yoongi. So please um, stay tuned and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.